it's, uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for having me. I think JR is right about the pinball thing. I think it's gonna <laughs> come back. Right. <laughs> I, it's more of a, it's, it's not, you know, I have no stake in it uh, myself. I'm not an enthusiast, I'm a casual enjoyer uh, at, at most. But I, I do, I, I see the trend on the horizon as well. And I have, sorry to rub it in, I've been to the Asbury Park pinball <laughs> arcade uh, twice. <laughs> it's worth, it's worth it. You should make another trip. I think there's a couple other locations around the country. I think it's a chain. Isn't that right? I see him popping up in every major metropolitan area over the next three years. <laughs> I lost uh, to my bandmate Nick on the Pong machine there the first time, which which annoyed me to no end. <laughs> Don't let that discourage you. <laughs> this is a new song. Yeah. Well, it's labor intensive, it's hard and expensive to proffer this sort of a service. And it's downright offensive to stare out a window and pose like you're pensive on purpose. You're a tough act to follow, a hard pill to swallow, despite being smooth on the surface. But at the end of the day, I think it's fair to say, we just do what we can to exert less. So the Star Wars fans joined the pop punk band which posed a peculiar question. Then we all got together to discuss our demands as to offer some sort of a lesson. See, sometimes to dodge a bullet, you gotta fire one or two just to let the recoil remind you. Then the next thing you know, like in a flick or a show, you end up with a couple in inside you. Thank you. 